gun meme review what is up you sexy youtube mother lovers and welcome back to another episode of gmr now a lot has happened in the last two weeks since we did another gun meme review episode we had uh april fool shenanigans we had more gun control announcements and a new appointed director of the atf all that together means that we have plenty of memes so let's jump right in so of course right off the bat let's talk about april fools if during this day you happen to stumble across the akguy.com website, you might have noticed this for sale, which probably hurt your feelings when you realized what day it was. Indeed, the AK-50 was an item available to buy on the website, or kind of. Uh, if you tried to check out, you got uh, a wonderful error notification from the AKG crew. April Fools, you nerds thought he would actually finish the fitty. Get got, nerds. Love. The AKG team, minus Brandon. Yeah, see, the funny part about this is this wasn't actually me, as you can tell by that notification. This was actually a joke that my team played on me while I'm, <laughs> while I'm away, and uh, I just thought it was fucking hilarious, so I shared it with you guys. Why must you hurt me in this way? Okay, it was kind of mean, but come on, that was pretty good. I think shipping was like $420.69. Nice. Me and the boys kidnapping Brandon after the AK-50 April Fool's joke. I'm surprised by the amount of people who actually took that seriously. And also, I'm kinda sorry. But not, not really. Ah, it was only a matter of time before one made it to Gun Broker. AKG AK-50 by Brandon's Gun. Current bid, $9,130. Shit, that ain't too bad. There might be money in this whole AK-50 venture. Somebody should do that. God damn it, Bobby. Is this the cult? Where's the AK-50, Brandon? Yeah, this is it. Every fucking time, every time in another comment section, I say anything unrelated. I could be talking about something on a meme page, or I could be talking machinist shit with somebody on a completely different account, and I will get 12 numbskulls in the comments. Where AK-50 at? This is why other people hate my audience. Trade offer. I receive. AK-50 update. You receive. Mental insanity. I think you mean we receive mental insanity. It was almost funny the first time. Not funny the 20,000th time. Remember kids, the golden rule. If you're gonna be a dick, at least be original. Brandon saying he thought about making AK-50 light. Shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Yeah, I joked about that in a previous video about doing a 50 payoff AK just to do a little teaser mini AK-50. Um, I don't know. Still might. That is not an invitation to flood the comment section of every video after this, by the way. If you guys do that, it's not gonna fucking happen. Just remember. I swear to God, kids, if you don't behave, I will turn this fucking car around. Anyways, I think that's enough of that for now. Let's get into the really spicy stuff, which is the new gun control memes and, of course, our new head of the ATF. But before we do that, it's time to really quick thank our sponsor. Our sponsor for this week, the Dude Bag. Dude bag this month came with a first responder toolkit, these sex toys, and some black rifle coffee and all sorts of other goodies in this little bag here. This month they're changing it up though. If you use the code M22, 10% of the profits will go to the Mission 22 Foundation. Also, if you use that code on any monthly subscription, you'll get this cool knife and sheath combo. I'm gonna not play with that before I stab myself in the throat. Anyhow, if you wanna check them out and support a good cause, go ahead and check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Let's get back to the memes. So if you've been living under a rock or been staying away from social media, first of all, good on you. But secondly, President Biden has released a slew of executive actions regarding gun control. We actually did a full video breakdown of that earlier this week, if you want to go check that out. Uh, up there, probably. One of the things included in the executive actions is a look at tightening the noose on ghost gats and pistol braces. Again. That's a compact assault weapon and I'm gonna ban the brace so it isn't concealable. Hmm, fuck. Yeah, you gotta love that argument. Uh, the brace is what makes it, you know, concealable, and that makes it more dangerous. Uh, completely throwing away the fact that a shorter barrel reduces your muzzle velocity and actually makes the weapon less deadly. And if you're really worried about it being concealable, taking off the brace makes the weapon way more concealable. Seriously, if you're worried about concealability, that thing could fit in a fucking backpack now. Trade offer. <laughs> I love this meme format now. I receive your guns. You receive, you know, 
the, the, the thing. Come on, man. The left is seriously declaring major war on guns right now. Uh, all the things that were proposed, now that there's nobody to fight them, really, and they have the votes, uh, it's getting interesting. One of the things that was just brought up is a full-on suppressor ban. Uh, with like, I think, a 60-day period to turn in your legally acquired suppressors. I'm going to try not to get too political with this, because it always just makes me irritated, but for all these numbskulls who are saying, Oh, the left and the right, they're two, two sides of the same coin, they all, they're all the same anyway. You know what, take a look at the votes on these gun bills, and see which side seems to be voting in favor of gun control, and which side votes against gun control. And if you can't see a pattern there, I don't know what to tell you. Are all Republicans as willing to dig in their heels when it comes to gun rights as I'd like them to be? Fuck no. But if you somehow think that the left and the right are equally anti-gun, your mommy had to put a nice little helmet on your head before you went to the short bus to school. I, I love how I said I wasn't gonna get political and I immediately got really political. Let's, let's move on. So the last executive action that was taken was nominating David Chipman to be head of the ATF. Since then, the memes have actually been pretty great. David Chipman, ATF Special Agent, retired. Gun violence prevention advocate at Gifford's Courage. Michigan, Durand, Virginia, and proud 97 percenter. You know, the 3%, like the 3 percenters fought in the Revolutionary War, you know, for American independence. Proud 97 percenter. What? So of course it didn't take long to Photoshop him as, you know, the red coat from the Patriot. Looks pretty fitting though. It's so badass when men stand in front of shit they destroyed. You got Iron Man, John Wick, the Joker, and oh hey, there's Chipman at Waco. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Really interesting how in 2021, uh, taking a selfie in front of burning children is not a job disqualifier. Oh yeah, but that made you feel like a man. I love this template, because he did a Reddit AMA a while back, and that was a shit show where he claimed that at Waco, they shot down two helicopters with 50 cows or some shit like that. I don't know. He was there! How the fuck? How do you get that wrong? But anyway, because he did the Reddit AMA, uh, there's a wonderful photo of him holding up a mostly blank piece of paper, which has led to some excellent Photoshop. Yeah, see, it's this one's funny, because uh, ATF uh, hurt puppy. For those of you who don't understand the joke on that one, it's a long-standing running joke uh, that the ATF will shoot your dog if you disobey gun laws. So you get gems like this. Something's wrong, I can feel it. That dog even looks kind of uncomfortable. There's even companies who jokingly do anti-ATF uh, ballistic vests for your puppy. But just thought that needed a little clarification for you know, some of you who might be new around here. Back to the Chipman meme. I've killed more children than Sandy Hook and Parkland combined. I need that Falcon meme. He's out of line, but he's right. Yeah, if you really cared about saving the kids, you would have disbanded the ATF before Waco. Anyways, guys, I'm tired of looking at a dude who looks like he'd be better served being a high school gym teacher named Denise and not our new director of the ATF. On to some miscellaneous gun memes. When the RSO of the indoor range comes out and wants to know who the fuck is shooting bottles of Hidden Valley Ranch filled with Tannerite. I don't know there, buddy. I guess you'd have to follow me on Snapchat to find out. Also, ignore my range bag full of Hidden Valley Ranch. And Tannerite, I guess one could call that the real demolition ranch. All right, I'll stop now. We happy? Vincent, we happy? Yeah, we happy. Man, I just had to buy 6.5 Creedmoor ammo for a, an alligator hunt we're gonna do next week. Holy shit. 6.5 ammo? It's like $2.50 a round. When the hell did that happen? I remember bitching when it was like 80 cents to a dollar around. Also, I need to go back and rewatch Pulp Fiction. I think it's about time. Mom, can we have PP2000? No, we have PP2000 at home. PP2000 at home. Not gonna lie, that flux defense stuff is kinda hot. Plus, I'm pretty sure that still counts as a brace. Look, the ATF approved it, not me. At least until they arbitrarily decide not to approve it after they approved it and told the company they could spend a lot of money on injection molding machines to produce a product that they said was legal 
until until it, it isn't. I'm actually having a pretty good day, guys. I know I sound super fucking bitter. <laughs> Buying AR parts. The gas block I bought off Optics Planet didn't fit, so I had to RMA it. No. Buying AK parts. The lower handguard I bought off a sketchy .ru website with cryptocurrency didn't fit, so I beat it with a hammer until it did. Yeah, that's that's AK parts. If you've ever forced on a piece of AK furniture that didn't fit with a hammer, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Footage of someone explaining how they turn in their guns to their girlfriends. People who turn in their guns don't have girlfriends. Even the guy in front of him has lost all respect for him as a man. Chad non-complier. Hey, boating accident guy, look at me. Bitch. I don't know how I feel about that one, because, I'm, you know, the boating accident shit's a joke. But the joke is about pretending you lost him in a boating accident so you can not comply with the law. So they're kind of a... They are... They're both non-compliers. What? Taser! 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 <laughs> yeah, that's... That's not a taser, and that's... Too soon? Of course, referring to the incident uh, recently where a female cop had shot a man thinking that she was deploying her taser. Whoops. Your face after the first shot at a traffic stop and you're pretty sure it's the wrong taser. It's so fucked up, but I think it's kind of... It, it, come on, I have a dark sense of humor. It's kind of funny. Real fucked up situation, though, and that's the reality of the whole defund the police thing. The laws aren't going away, and the police aren't going away. You're just gonna get shittier cops. Cops that maybe aren't cut out for the job and maybe don't have enough training to know that a Glock 19 is not a taser. I personally didn't know a whole lot of training needed to go into somebody to make that distinction clear, but uh, yeah, clearly I'm wrong. Drugs, rocket scientists, Russian Ministry of Defense. What the hell is this? The AN-94. Yeah. Uh, AN-94 was pretty much the closest that the uh, the Russian weapon designers got to the HKG-11 territory of rocket science. Ruski space magic or something like that, I guess. It's a really nifty idea. Uh, not sure how well it runs, and there's probably a reason why it was never adopted, but it is a super cool prototype. If you'd like to see a whiteboard of knowledge video on that, I haven't done a whiteboard video in forever, and honestly, I'm kind of getting the itch again. So if there's some whiteboard of knowledge video breakdowns of weapon platforms you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments, and we'll put it together. Get to show off my artistic skills again. I'm sorry in advance. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up this episode of Gun Meme Review. As soon as this video goes live, I will be live streaming at twitch.tv slash Herrera, probably playing some Tarkov. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to come hang out, it's usually a lot of fun. Also, you might want to check to see to make sure that you're still subscribed because YouTube has been unsubscribing people, as it turns out. And I don't know why. But go ahead and make sure that subscribe button is smashed because you don't want to miss any of this c minus grade content. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching to the end of the video, and as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks, guys. Fear is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put in the top. But now, a lot of shit has happened in the last two weeks since we did a gun meme review episode. Um do it again. No, I'll... Oh, sh I can't say shit. But secondly, President Biden has released a slew of executive actions. We actually did a full video covering that uh, last week, if you want to go check that out. Last week? No, it was earlier this week. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up this episode of Gun Meme Review. After this video goes live, I will be live at twitch.tv... Twitch.tv... Twitch... Twitch.tv slash... Yeah, okay. Fuck.